welcome to a new part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cottage Living. I'm very happy because we no longer have to do the routine disclosure on these videos. I'm also excited because we have access to all the packs with Cottage Living. I also wanted to let you guys know, some people are confused with thinking this was like a safety pin tea strainer. Um, it's not like meant to be a safety pin. It's just like a, just like a traditional tea strainer and you push down on these to open it up like that. I just thought I'd explain it to you. But anyway, let's jump into the game. I always am so happy when early access finishes because I'm able to actually see all of your comments and feedback and implement them into our gameplay. Up until now, everything was pre-recorded. Thank you so much for all of the beautiful comments. I'm so glad you're enjoying this as much as I am. And I love all of your ideas. Uh, and also so glad that so many of you love the intro that uh, my editor, Will, created. So shout out to Will. Anyway, we're back at home and I have given the characters makeovers. Oh! Oh! That's the sound of alarm, people. There must be a fox nearby. Where is this fox? the chickens okay? They're like, where is this fox? It's probably like around here somewhere. Uh, I've also done a little bit of fertilizing along here. I've done a bit of a makeover because our characters have aged up to adults and I've kind of gone with the theme of, I guess, Meadow, who I start calling Willow. Meadow's going to become a lot more crafty and that's kind of reflective in her outfits which is kind of fun. And then Shay here. Um, Shay is younger than Huck, so I feel like he's a little bit more trendy. And then Huck is really, uh, he's really going for the, the little man vibes. Oh, there we go. He's really going for like rustic bearded man from the forest farm vibe. I love it. I love it. I really, really want them to get engaged and start a family. I thought that would be really, really nice. And Meadow, she's not really interested in romance. Um, she's just happy sharing love with her friends, her family, supporting animals and I think that is an awesome story for her and loving her crafts so I thought up here we could make like a craft area for Meadow I thought that would be really cool since we have access to things like nifty knitting now now we do have a little bit of extra cash as well which I'm excited about that we get to spend on so I thought we could just have like the nifty knitting craft desk up here and actually we could do the double-sided one i love connecting these two together a lot of people don't know that these are actually made to connect or put back to back i think she can get around that because originally i was thinking this would be like a good future kids room but then i thought mm, it's kind of a little bit dangerous like the kids might fall down this ladder hole Maybe we'll go with these like rosy pink colors. Um, so let's just put a whole heap of like crafty things around the place up here. And nifty knitting, I'm so excited for this. Have this whole wall, like a craft space. You know, I feel like I need to get into some crafts. I mean, at the moment, my little activity I'm working on is Lego and gotta say, I'm loving it. But maybe after the Lego era, finishes I might move on to like some kind of crafts I don't know comment down below what your craft of choice is oh I kind of like the yellow chair to be honest I just love being able to play with all of the packs in the game it's so good it's like ah uh, I could play how I've always wanted to do it would actually be a really lovely space to work in and then I think the cross stitch kit is down here so we can probably move one of these upstairs as well. We can probably put like the Christmas decoration box up here as well. Oh, we also got this bonus content, this scenic commuting bicycle, which is so cute. So I think you can get this if you pre-order it um, before a certain stage. And I feel like no one's gonna steal our bike in this town. Like everyone's really nice. So we'll get a bike. Oh, it would be cute if maybe Hawk gave her a bike. For a birthday. Oh, we have a random chocolate pie in our inventory. Yum. Oh, and there's our rainbow llama wool. Okay, I'm gonna sell all of these. I can't believe we have a chicken in here. We need to free you. Maybe last of all up here, we could have a nice rug. Kind of thinking we could go with this fun foresty rug there. Cute. I think that's a really nice craft space. Okie dokie. All right, so let's get Hawk to gift this bike to Meadow. Put that in his inventory and then we'll go to her. We'll give her a loving hug. 
A smooth apology. What did you do to murder? Oh, privacy violation. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit awkward. But we can definitely apologize. And then we give a gift, friendly gift. Can we give the bike? Yay! So we can say, look, we wanted to get you one extra birthday gift. It came a little bit late, but we think we'll, you'll really like it. Vavuda! She's like, oh my god, I love you guys, thank you so much! Oh my gosh. Let's express admiration. Oh yeah, let's hug. Thank you so much, Shay, you're the best! So I'm also thinking, I wonder if Shay or Huck should propose, and I'm wondering where. Now, remember they had their picnic together, which was their first date in the forest. I'm wondering if we kind of repeat that and then propose in like the forest area. That could be nice. All right, I thought that would be cute. Also, I need to keep updated with the calendar. So tomorrow's love day. We now have everything on the calendar now from different packs. What? Oh my gosh, their next birthdays are already on here. This is too much to handle. So it looks like there's two festivals on Saturday. There's the Finchwick Chicken Fair. Mm, so we need to get some good eggs and chickens. And actually, most importantly, I just want to try and get some unique items. I've also created some relatives you guys were asking to see Huck and Willow's relatives. So we've got John Gardner and Magdalene Gardner, who are city slickers. And they're gonna also visit these guys as well once Huck and Shay are engaged. Uh, Cause it's a pretty big deal and it's also been their birthdays and they haven't seen them in forever. Um, oh, Shay's just having a little bit of toilet time. And also, oh my gosh, oh my God. I thought ramen had actually turned into stone or something then. I don't know why I got, I became so afraid. <laughs> I don't know why I made such a big deal just then, but I did. Let's have a little woohoo with Shay, cause you know, they're in their honeymoon period, like not wedding honeymoon, but like still in that, uh, in the early days of their relationship. They're keeping things quite spicy. Ooh. In, oh, this is a bit awkward. Um, and then Meadow's gonna go out and quickly clean the shed. And we could get another animal over here. We haven't had much luck. Uh, I appreciated the love and the kind words you guys left for Jerry. Um, Jerry the first, the second, and the third. You know, it's not going so well. But we can always, we can always try more. We can always try more animals. Fluff is getting on in years. Oh no. Oh, and so is Cuckoo. And so is Sporty Spice, you guys. It's the end of an era. Oh my gosh. I'll just quickly do a little midnight clean of the coop. Might actually just scatter some food nearby. I found it's often difficult to get food for all the chickens too. Are you saying, are you telling dirty jokes, Hawk? Oh my gosh. Okay, sleepy time. Everyone off to bed. Oh, Shay might need a little bit of a snacky before he gets into bed. Meadow is definitely really tired. You know, she works really hard. And I have no idea what we got for, um, was it Jerry the third? We tried swapping for produce. I don't know what we got in the mail. It might have been literally only one jam. I'm kind of curious to do that again and see what we get. Oh, and we also have eco lifestyle. So we have an eco footprint. So that's neutral as well. I also found out that if you learn all of the new recipes, and, oh, it's love day. And I think you live on a lot with the simple living challenge. Apparently you can write a cookbook and if other Sims read it, they can learn to cook really quickly. So I'm really curious to try that. We already have the simple living lot. So I don't know how many new recipes we need to learn. Like maybe we have to keep going to town, discover the recipes, or does it mean we need to actually cook the recipes? Is it in our notebook maybe? We have milk, animal treats, llama wool, oversized crops. Like, is it all the treats as well? I think I need to do some more research on this cause I'm just not sure. And also we did have a whole heap of obsidian eggs from feeding our chook spicy treats. But unfortunately, 
None of these eggs were hatchable, which means that we weren't able to hatch an evil rooster. It's very hard to get them to be hatchable. I did a little bit of testing and it's like rare. So we're gonna have to keep trying. And look, we have a cow plant. Woo, let's name it Lil Simsy. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. I freaking love that. Oh wow, that's so good. Whoever put that in. Okay, so of course Meadow is always very dedicated to looking after everything. So she's gonna look after that. Huck might be ready to pop the question. Dang it, I did a whole heap of upgrades around the house too. Shay might need to get up and cook something. Actually, we should probably go to the shops. We don't have a whole heap of stuff. Mmm, crumpets. So James actually bought uh, or has ordered some local crumpets that are like organic and locally made. And it comes in this little gift box with jam and tea. And speaking of tea, I have tea right here to drink. And I'm so excited to get them. I don't know what it is about crumpets. They're just very wholesome and tasty. You know what? I'm just gonna replace this. Yep, I did that. I did that, everyone. I went there. Ooh. Oh, no, don't eat that, girl. Do not eat that. We need to remember that Meadow is lactose-free. I've been terrible at looking after her and with her dietary requirements, which is really shocking because I'm lactose intolerant myself. Like, what have I been thinking? Oh, he only made one crumpet for himself. Now, once Meadow has had her food, we need to level up in this aspiration. We're at level three out of four. Just as a reminder, if we are able to fulfill this aspiration, we get a reward trait that's really good. It's called Nature Conversationalist. These sims have improved relationships with animals, allowing their animals to live longer and happier lives. Rabbits and birds will bring them more gifts. And they can interact with plants in unique ways. I would love to see that. Receiving more yield from harvest, so handy. They will also receive free grocery delivery. Heck yeah. And when residing in Henford on Bagley, a discount on their bills. So I feel like there's a lot of good things there. Oh, I forgot we have a maid. We have George. Mm, fruit salad for you. What is Huck wearing to propose in today? Oh, he's in his little hat. I love their new styles. They've really crossed into kind of an older age frame, but I really love their look. So if we're gonna do a picnic basket, I mean, Shay is a really good cook, but I also feel like I want Hawk to propose to Shay. I don't know why, I just feel like Hawk would propose. So maybe what we could do is we could have some help from Meadow to cook, because Meadow probably knows that Hawk wants to propose to Shay, because Hawk and Meadow are very close. So maybe she's like, how about we do something kind of special? Let's do a Yorkshire pudding. I feel like Yorkshire puddings are kind of more of an on the side thing though, not like a whole meal thing, at least whenever I've had them. Uh, that, that's been, you know, how it goes. We could do an aubergine, my future child's name, aubergine parmesan. A blueberry pie would be nice. A little picnic with blueberry pie. Not anything to do with mushrooms. The mushroom mash was horrendous. Berry scones would be nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake you a pie, okay? Bake you a pie. And then they can, they can have that together. Hey, Hawk! You were meant to help Meadow cook. You're meant to help. Oh my gosh, and he'll be proposing on Love Day. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to give some flowers as well from Meadow. I wonder if we can fulfill that from giving um, an animal a flower. Hug, you're meant to be helping. Okay, come on, I'm, I'm fast forwarding Huck to join, but I feel like he's gonna do one of those classic things where when he offers to help, it'll be just too late. Just too late. And Meadow will be like, well, I just put the pie in the oven, so thanks. How good does she look in her kitchen? She's like, well, here you come. You said you were gonna help me. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe Shay can buy a flower. I mean, why do we have, can't we just like pick a flower? Why do we have to buy flowers? Let's harvest these tulips. Oh, actually roses really are, I guess, more of a like Valentine's Day thing. Okay, let's just gift one of those 
to matter. And I don't think that'll come across as flirty. I hope not. It's just like meant to be a nice thing. Like I do Valentine's Day things for my family and friends. It doesn't mean that it's romantic. It's just like a lovable day should be lovable for everyone, not just people in relationships. <gasps> Look at that blueberry pie. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put that straight in the basket, straight in your inventory, because we all know what happens to pie if it's left out. Okay, it's time for a love day game. The, these both, these two guys are so sweet to Meadow. These both are so nice. What is my English today? They they really do look after Meadow. Like, they live together as a family, and they are a family. Like, there's never that feeling of her being a third wheel or anything. Hey, did you give... Wait, did you... Did you give her a flower? I don't think you did. Maybe it did. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. <gasps> Work for Shay starts a little. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, she didn't like it? Oh. Okay, then. Okay, well, let's get Huck to... Ooh, love day gift. What do we even have to give as a love day gift? Um... Hmm, maybe the blueberry pie in the basket? I hope we don't lose it there. And then let's ask Shay out on a date. It's gonna be the big proposal. <gasps> and we can have a rustic wedding. It's for you. I baked it this morning with Meadow. It's like, you baked me a pie. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Oh, look, his mom's over. It's Shay's mom. Um, oh. That's awkward, we're leaving. Well, maybe his mom has gone over to help Meadow and keep her company whilst these two head off to the forest. I feel like Huck would have told the whole family. Like he would have told them all that he was going to propose to Shay because he's becoming a little bit closer with them. I almost feel like the time since I've last filmed has meant that they've grown up a bit and probably furthered their relationships. I don't know, kiss hands. Compliment appearance. I wonder if Shay has anything to give. Well, maybe a chula. Sit and talk to your date. Kiss passionately. Oh, look at that beautiful chula. What? He didn't like it. What the? Why does no one like these? Um, let's take personal time off. I forgot to cancel that. My gosh, so rude. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, well, let's find a nice picnic table whilst these two are having their romantic moments. We'll sit over here. Hopefully the pie is still in here. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, it's okay. Let's set up the picnic. Okay, I love that we have picnic baskets in this pack. I think uh, I think it's so perfect. <gasps> Passionate kiss though. Oh no, he has to pee. Oh no. Guys, he can't be busting when he's proposed to. Why are you singing? Stop singing! Shay, stop! Oh, we've got lots of birdies around here though. That's nice. Let's um let's sit together, let's have this picnic. Have you got two coffees? Yeah. Why are you drinking coffee? It's, it's so late. late. It's like five o'clock. I'm very tired, so I want a coffee oh. to the toy. You don't have to have it, but it just makes two when I do piccolo, so I thought I'd bring it just in case you were interested. <laughs> yeah, when I do piccolo, it just splits it, so... Mm, 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 mm. So, I just wanted to, you know, have a chat and, I guess, talk about how much I've enjoyed us getting together, moving in together. I'm so glad I met you, and I know my blueberry pie isn't anything like yours. Well, it's actually Meadow's blueberry pie, and it must be pretty good, but... <laughs> Basically, he's just saying, Shay, I want to make you the happiest man alive. And thank you for being here with me. I'm so lucky to have you. Aww, so cute. Okay, do you guys ever get annoyed when the menu covers up your sims when they're having important moments together? Because I totally do. Kiss your da date passionately. I need passionate kiss options. Aww. No. Look deeply into eyes. This is gonna be like a super romantic day, you know? He's still busting though. Is there like a bathroom nearby? I don't 
know. Is there any bathrooms over here? Guys, I don't want to be that person, but literally because there's no bathrooms here, I'm actually gonna cheat. Just because he can't have Shay peeing himself as we proposed to him. So I know we don't usually like to do that. James, stop judging me. You should see the way he's looking at me. It's just everything on the side. He, whenever I click on bathroom, he says he can't go to the bathroom. Yeah, but it's because they're in the middle of nowhere. There's a public bathroom over the other side. Oh, well. He probably wouldn't have made it though if it was busting. Exactly. It's too <laughs> late now. I love how when they eat, they just look at each other and they don't even look at the oh, food. <laughs> oh, shame. Oh, look at the moves. Huck's like, I'm sorry how I reacted before, but I just have this weird thing where I really hate flowers. And Shay's like, what? Flowers are so romantic. Well, I'll gift you a kiss instead. Oh, damn. Okay, let's get up from the table because I feel like we need a move. We need a move. I'm actually going to just pack this up real quick. He's nervous. Like, this is going to be a big deal. Love day confetti. Okay, Shay must maybe have an idea that Huck's going to propose. Oh, here's the passionate kiss. Oh, I also want to tell Shay a quick story as well. Oof! I'm going to tell you a dramatic story, Shay. It's the story of what really happened with me, my sister, and our parents, because I know you guys were interested in that. It's like, look, we grew up in the bustling city. It was always really full on. My parents really wanted us to go into art galleries. And my dad, who's a lawyer, he wanted my sister bec to become a lawyer as well. And there was a lot of pressure on us, but really we've never liked uh, the city life. So my sister and I just came here. Our parents were always traveling anyway. So as soon as we were old enough, um, we moved in with my grandparents and that's yeah, that's what happened so and that's why i love your family so much because Van your family Van is so happy to be in the countryside and and they get oh, it they right want to be hand. here and it's kind of interesting because shay was a bit of a city slicker so shay is kind of like huck's parents and they say you um find people who are similar to your family don't they oh <gasps> this is the perfect place to propose go here together so now they're just gonna go for a romantic walk at sunset might i add at sunset people this, this might be the best proposal I've ever done in the game. And look at these little fireflies, so cute. Little blue fireflies, this is, oh my gosh. I really hope that they don't stuff this up. I'm, I'm invested in this moment between my sims. Okay, okay, this is it. This is the big moment. <gasps> Will you marry me, Shay? Oh my gosh, the proposal! Oh, this was so beautiful! It was at dusk, and it's right near where they buried their parents, which is kind of sad, but why are there so many mushrooms here? These are probably all of Michael's mushrooms. He's such a creep. Yay! Oh, this is so cute! We probably definitely have new sentiments. Um, deeply connected. You are my jam. So many feelings can fit in a small jar. Giving it to Shay oh, makes Huck's heart flutter. Oh, and then they had a picnic bonding session. And now they're smitten. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm gonna let these two stay here, do their thing. They can come back whenever they want. Let's just give them some private time. And I'm gonna move back to Meadow and see how she's going. Meadow's at home. Actually on the typewriter iPad computer, maybe she's looking at some other ways to do her crafts and look after her animals, all of that research, because it really does take a lot of research to do all of that. Um, I'm just gonna get her to go to the loo. And she needs to receive one more gift from rabbits or birds. Take the gift offered by the flock of birds. And I can never remember if this just goes to the next level or if this completes the whole aspiration when it's three out of four. I always forget. <gasps> Hen chick has grown up. Wow, that's exciting. Yay. Oh, hello, little one. Oh, yeah. Benny Boop's been gardening for us. Benny, can you please do these other plants? Well, I mean, half is still, is still pretty good. Oh, Shay's home. Okay. Oh. Aspiration.
celebration achieved. We've done it. Wow. A little birdie just told me that Meadow has just unlocked a bird cross stitch pattern. And our aspiration is done. Animals and plants can be finicky. They require love, attention, patience, and sometimes even simoleons. Meadow has proven she's the ultimate country caretaker. Yay. She has earned the, nat the nature con conversationalist. I don't know why I struggle so much to say that. Nature conversationalist. I think I keep trying to say conservationist. We've already read this. I guess we'll just explore that as we go. But now what do we do? We probably have a whole heap of aspiration points to use as well. I mean, I was thinking that we would be like a collector maybe or family, but I feel like the boys might be more family focused. I mean, we could do the food aspiration. You know, I really want there to be a love aspiration that isn't about romance. Cause I feel like that would be really perfect for her. Oh, but there's also the craft stuff too. We could be like a lady of the knits. Maybe we should do that. That would be, that would be quite cute. Okay, let's, let's be lady of the knits. We can always change the aspiration as well if we want to. So you guys just let me know. And we have 6,000 points, so we could definitely spend up. I actually don't think that there were any new rewards for this pack. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there are. <gasps> Super green thumb will find that the plants they garden have amazing vitality. Okay, that's a definite good one. The money tree would be pretty awesome, except we're really not driven to be super wealthy in this Let's Play. Like, we already have so much money. Never need to shower or bathe. I think the super green thumb makes sense. Let's do it. Woo! We're a super green thumb. And we want to knit people. Okay, well, maybe we can, can we congratulate? Oh, we're already asleep in bed. Oh, Shay's probably telling everyone the good news, updating all the socials, updating the gram. I'm engaged with a picture of them. <laughs> and Huck is home as well. Oh, what is Huck doing here with Adeline? Excuse me, Huck. You are not doing that. Oh, I just saw the, uh, I just saw the bathrooms then. Also, I keep forgetting that we are on the same lot as, um, the forest. I, I've done that so many times now. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I may have put up this wedding arch in the garden here. And um, I was thinking we could have like a nice at home wedding. Whoa! Oh my lord. I thought this was like a long stalk of aubergines, like one, two, three, four, five of them. Oh no, our chicken's really hungry. Okay, we need to collect the eggs and, and, and feed the chickens. Our chickens are all gonna leave. So in terms of vegetables, it looks like we're gonna have one huge lettuce, um, some large oversized watermelons, aubergines, smaller pumpkins, smaller aubergines, and some like smaller mushrooms. So, oh, we just made $500 on our day off. Wow. Do you think Shay still wants to go to work being a chef? Or should Shay just get into the farm life as well? I don't know if Shay wants to continue all of that. Well, anyway, I think what I'll do is get these two to have a celebratory woohoo. And uh, yeah, I think I'll finish up this this right here. Uh-oh, lock the door, lock the door. No vampires are coming in here. Okay, the door's locked for everyone but household members. You are not coming in here, Vladdy Daddy. Nope, not today, buddy. Okay, I've also just got to feed um, little Simsy uh, some food as well. <laughs> Some food as well. Okay, Shay, it's time for you to go to bed. I think Hawk fell asleep before the woohoo, but that's okay. Um, and love day is complete. So I think they all had a successful love day. Oh, except Meadow. Well, yeah, love day kind of sucks for Meadow because there's no self-love options, people. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Duck, duck.